Hi, my name is Maddie and I am a learning specialist here at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Today we are going to be making elephant toothpaste. Elephant toothpaste will teach us about chemical reactions, exothermic reactions, and how catalysts can help speed up reactions while they're playing out. So what you're going to need is a two liter bottle. Really any bottle will work as long as it has this funnel top, a funnel, food coloring, um, a cup of water Dixie cup works or even one of the plastic cups that's a bit bigger. 20 volume hydrogen peroxide that you can get at Sally Beauty Supply. Dish soap. Of course yeast. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put about a cup of hydrogen peroxide into the bottle. I'm going to add a little bit more, which is why I have two of them. Alrighty. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of soap in. And we're going to put eight drops of food coloring in. We're going to mix that all together so we get this nice foamy concoction. All right, and then we're going to take the yeast, we're going to put it in our water. You want to make sure your water is nice and warm but not too hot because then it won't work as well. And then we're going to stir the yeast and the water together for like 30 seconds. All right. So now we're going to put goggles on just for safety, just in case. We're going to put the funnel on top of the bottle and we're going to pour our water and yeast in. So what's happening is as the foam is coming up, the bubbles from the soap and the hydrogen peroxide are creating oxygen. And that oxygen is helping push the foam up out of the top of the bottle. The yeast worked as a catalyst, which helps speed up reactions. If you feel the foam or even the bottom of the bottle, you'll feel it's kind of warm, and that means it's an exothermic reaction, which means it creates heat. Make sure to tune in next week for our next Wonder Zone. Bye.